Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Goodies, boys and girls, and welcome to a little hamster running around on my lap. She was just, I had her in my pocket to start with, and then I had to do a little bit of some other things, and she started racing around like a, a little crazy person and ended up on my lap and trying to get up on the keyboard garage because it's I'm a nice little desk type thing with a keyboard garage. And she's just a little cutie. She was in her, her little blue house. And I woke her up, and so now she's like trying to get back to her little blue house so she can go back to sleep. Poor little thing. Here we go, I'll put you back. I'm sorry. My apologies. I'm so cruel. And the thing is, I woke her up because I didn't want to be mean to um, Patches Jr., little Bat Ears McGee, because he's down here in his cage running on his wheel and so i went oh i don't want to stop him from running on his wheel i'll go wake her up and oh well that wasn't very nice was it i'm so cruel here now i'm going to stop him from running on his wheel come here, come here. little bad ears mcgee or patches jr oh his ears are out this morning he was running on his wheel with with uh, non-crinkled ears. So he doesn't always have his ears crinkled up against the side of his head. So I don't know what the difference is, you know, because, ah, something in my eye. Because he'll sleep with his ears crinkled up and then he'll run around with his ears crinkled up and now he's just like radar ears. And he's gonna just jump out of my hand so I gotta drop him down into his cage again. And now he's going to jump off of his platform and onto his wheel again. My hair is just, my hair is bothering me this morning. My hair bothers me all the time. I look so tired this morning. I actually slept. I went to bed like uh, 11, 11.30, something like that, or close to midnight-ish maybe. And I woke up around five something, so I slept and I looked just exhausted. Isn't that terrible? Oh, oh well. My apologies for looking tired. Uh, I actually feel pretty good, but my eyes are actually feeling pretty puffy. So I have puffy eyes. That, I wonder if it's because of the uh, allergies. We have a lot of, uh, you know that, I guess it's like called Scotch broom. It's the tough, fibrous plant that grows with bright yellow uh, flowers and it really affects a lot of people. It affected my wife quite poorly. Usually I'm fine. The only thing that happens with me with Scotch Broom is my eyes will feel thick. Like, uh, you know, the pollen's just building up in my eyes. So they feel thick and gummy. So I wonder if that's what's going on. Because I just look, ugh. I feel pretty good though. And that's a good thing. Definitely, definitely a good thing always want to be feeling positive and wonderful well it's not maybe not wonderful you want to feel positive about things because feeling negative about stuff is just well it's wearing it's exhausting it's tiring but i'm lucky i really do seem well i don't know if lucky comes into that it's just a matter of waiting things out i appear to be out of the trough of my bipolar part i talked about this yesterday i think I think it's so hard to remember things. Number one, fibro makes it hard. Number two, my concentration is shot because of my alcoholism and well, past alcoholism. I mean, I was now active alcoholic. her active alcoholic until the year 2000. I've been sober, except for a few times I've fallen. I mean, like when my wife died, I drank for four months. Things like that. I have fallen. The shame is not in falling though, the shame is in not getting back up and I've always gotten back up. I've never, the longest anything has happened was when I drank after my wife died. I had to, I was, the, the feelings were killing me and quite literally. And so whenever I started to feel stuff, bang, I would bang down a can of alcohol and then got numb again, couldn't feel it did that for four months started off you know i was drinking four cans of uh it was this stuff called mike's hard lemonade so it's not beer beer but it's uh, 
alcohol and it's like eight something percent or is it four? it's between four and eight percent and so well, i think it was like four yeah because they got the harder stuff which is like twice that so i was whenever i would just bang put down a can and i started off drinking four of those a day and by the time i quit it was like you know i need to stop because i was drinking a case of those a day and so <sighs> yeah that's why my weight went up to 320 pounds. A lot of it water weight because my body was starting to fall apart. My kidneys were running all that well. My uh, lymph system doesn't work very, ooh, massive, massive pausing on the webcam. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that. But the lymph system in my lower extremities doesn't really work all that well because I've had cellulitis so much. And cellulitis is an infection of your skin and it can kill you fast because it when you get the infection in your skin your blood quickly goes septic and then you're poisoned through your system and things have gotten better it used to be that if you went septic you had a 70 percent chance right off the bat of dying now if you go septic it's only a 30 percent chance of dying and i've gone septic a couple times and so I'm kind of lucky to be alive. The last few times I had cellulitis, it was really kind of frightening and terrifying because I was really, really sick and I'm on IV antibiotics and I was talking with my wife and I would be, and this happened a couple of times when I was really, really sick. I could tell I was on the brink of like death because as I would talk to people along the outside of my vision, there would be lines that would go across and the line would go across and then between the periphery of my vision and the line it would go dark and then as I was just talking and looking at my wife and talking to her it would go line dark line dark and it's just my vision was getting smaller and smaller until line line and then it would just go bah. I could not see a thing for about two beats of a heart and then there would be a silver flash and I could see again. And then as I would talk to her, continue talking to her, it'd just be lines dark, lines dark. And it would just do that. And then as I got better, it would stop doing that. So I've, I've been really, really sick before just because of cellulitis. And you can't say just cellulitis because that's not good. My hands are actually doing pretty good today. We managed to go and get some uh, cannabis oil because that's uh, got the highest concentrations of all the cannabinols, cannabinols in them because you can get like 70% or 80% and we were able to dab last night and when I went to bed, my hands were doing well. My hands are still doing pretty good because that last bit of the RSO so I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. Oh, THC and all the cannabinoids is are wonderful. It's, in fact, as much as I've got reason to feel not so good about things, because things have been happening behind the scenes that I'm not at liberty to talk about, but because of things like that, I'm not feeling too wonderful about stuff. But with my bipolar stuff, I'm on the upswing and we finally got THC oil yesterday. We've all been doing poorly, but now my hands are doing well today. Now, hopefully they'll continue doing well. I don't really have any uh, pot to smoke, but we do have the oil and thank goodness. Oh, it's so nice being able to do this and not have it just be like ah, feeling like my hands were smacked by hammers, like there's broken glass in the joints. Oh, it is so nice. <laughs> and to continue with the good feelings about life, thank you so very, very much. I don't feel that it's a uh, I should say names for a situation like this, especially like in a GoFundMe and like that. But a very, very kind commenter made a donation of $200.
I am going to be positive in my checking account. I am not going to be hosed this upcoming month. Hopefully I can get all any stealth things that slammed into us last month that are in my account taken care of. And hopefully she can get taken care of with some of the stealth things that auto renewed on her. So we can get covered and not have that happen again. It was not a good month this month. And while there's still more of the month to go, thank you so very, very much. I hate feeling the shame that I feel when I ask for help. That's the previous generation talking through me, my parents, my grandparents talking through me and making me feel the way I do because I feel shame when I ask for help. Even though I know there's no reason to feel shame for asking for help. Asking for help is what saved my life when I was dying of my alcoholism. If I hadn't asked for help, I'd be dead. If I hadn't throughout my life asked for various points of help, I would not be where I am now. Most likely not even alive. So there is nothing wrong with asking for help. There is no shame in asking for help. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We are social animals. And we like actually helping each other. People, you know, it's not a fake feeling of happiness when people perform service through volunteer service or working through their church. When they're helping other people, they feel good about doing that. It's something that happens. We're social animals. We feel good when we do things to help each other. I feel so grateful and so thankful. Thank you so very, very much. I know that my, the feelings of shame that I have are from a previous generation and that I can stomp on those feelings and I have, so thank you so much. It is very, very wonderful, very nice of you. That's a, that is a nice load taken off of my shoulders, let me tell you. It's even if you don't consciously feel it, knowing that there's a big, heavy, nasty thing waiting back behind in the shadows, it wears on you. It's very exhausting. Thank you for helping to shoulder the load for me. I truly believe in this one thing that I read by the science fiction author Robert Heinlein, who wrote massive numbers of books. If you're younger and you've never heard the name Robert Heinlein, look up in Wikipedia Robert Heinlein. He wrote an incredible number of science fiction books, especially during the 50s and some, but an incredible author. But he said in one of his books something that I believe entirely. One of his main characters said, Joy shared is joy multiplied. Misery shared is misery diminished. And it's true. When you share happiness, other people are happy too. When you share your misery, it lessens it because you know you have people that care. It's not a terrible thing to be a, a social animal. <laughs> it's good. It's a good thing to be a member of a social species. I enjoy it. It's a nice thing. What I'm going to do now, because I'm at about the uh, 10 minute-ish mark. In fact, I've got to call up my webcam software. I am at, oh, I'm at the 13 minute mark. I need to quickly go to my web browser and then call up the community tab on my channel here because I want, wish to thank 20 to 25 kind commenters for having left me comments. Now I'm not reading the comments yet. I'm going to go through and read the comments after I do all these things and then I'm going to thumbs up all the comments I read. I'm going to answer as many as I can. So I'm not reading them right now but I'm going to read them later. Now if I can't properly pronounce your name there is no disrespect is in Bill. That is terrible. Let me start that one again. No disrespect is intended if I cannot pronounce your name correctly. There we go. That was pretty good English. I'm an American English speaker and I'm terrible at names. So if I mispronounce your name, there is no disrespect intended. Now again, I am just thanking you for leaving a comment. Whether you say you're a wonderful person, whether you say I should burn in hell, whether you say, hey, you're a human being. All of these things are equal at this point. 
Thank you for having left a comment. You got me out of my head, interacting with people in the world, and that is awesome. I need that. It's not a very good landscape back behind these eyes, even at the best of times. It's I have a streak of self-loathing a mile wide. I'm working on it always, always, and thank you all so much for your continued caring. It is awesome, and it really is. I've not had a lot of caring through my life. I mean, I've had physical and sexual abuse as a child and then self-imposed when I became an alcoholic, you know, you turn away from the world and because you become insular. And then throughout my life, such like that, I've not had a lot of kindness. So while I'm not good at expressing gratitude towards kindness expressed, I do feel so thankful and so grateful. So thank you all so very, very much. Now, if you'd like a shout out and I catch it, you just ask for the shout outs, <coughs> excuse me, down in the comments and I will do my best to actually uh, give you that shout out. But first off, we have Matt Stern. Thank you so very, very much. And Automatic Gats, thank you. Tracy McGill, thank you so very, very much. Dominique, thank you, greatly appreciated. Purple Haze <laughs> with a three and a four for the uh, E and the A. And the Arneson Dude, thank you so very, very much. And the Stone Kid, 5470. Joseph Pecor, or Joseph, I'm in trouble pronouncing that one, but thank you very, very much. The Horror Files, thank you again. Greatly appreciated the continued comments. And TMP123451000, thank you very, very much. Uh, Honey Drop Tea, thank you, greatly appreciated. The Lonnie, Lonnie Hawkins, thank you, greatly appreciated. Draswin, thank you. And Claude5190, did I already say thank you? Well, if I didn't, thank you again. And if I did, thank you again. And Tom Stark, thank you, greatly appreciated. Oh, that joint on the hand. Ow, my thumb knuckle. Well, I'll have to be more careful. Just another white girl, thank you very, very much. And Barry Benson, thank you. And then Isabella Ferrari, thank you very, very much. Louis Pepe, thank you very, very much. And then J-A-Y, thank you, greatly appreciated. And I saw J-Rock Vampire, yay, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated seeing you in the comments. Infinity King, thank you very much. Magic Heart Mike, thank you very, very much. And then Bold and Brash, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Tobias Vector. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated, absolutely every single one of you. It is a very, very good thing. Oh, 17 minutes and change. What I better do then is call up the uh, greetings so I can greet people in their home language. Now, I can't do every single one in the entire world, but if you'd like to hear a greeting in your home language, please drop in the comments. And if I grab it, it will be there. And I'll do my best to catch it. But, bom dia, dia deed, dia guit, guten tag, ahanyo seo, buenos dias, buena dimanata, ohio, lubrid, lavas ritas, comusta, bonjourno, terra homocost, yoragel, bari luz, ni hao, calimera, bonjour, bokertov, jean dobre, labdien, dobre utro, mesa olheli, dobre rano, bareda, Priviet, Merhaba, and of course, go forth and have the crack. Good food, good drink with good friends. Doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage, doesn't have to be crack cocaine, doesn't have to be a prostitute spreading her thighs for you. The crack, good food, good drink with good friends. It used to be an American phrase about a hundred and some odd years ago, and then for whatever reason, it traveled over to Ireland and then was said over there. Over the past couple decades, it's been moving back to the United States. And we've been saying it again here, primarily in the Midwest, moving outward. Now, the Midwest is ridiculous. On the, the United States, you know, we're like this big across. And they go, oh, this is the East, this is the Midwest, and this is the West. It's like, well, now, wait a minute. That's like, that's the East, that's the Midwest, that's the West. But, oh, no, it's East, Midwest, West. So it's come back in this area. <laughs> Thumbs up. Oh my gosh, 19 minutes and 20 seconds. If you can check out the links I've got down below, that would be awesome. There's quite a bit there. Thank you so much for everybody who has donated to my GoFundMe and my Patreon.com patrons. You are all beautiful, wonderful people. It is greatly appreciated. Thumbs up. If you could toss me a like, that would be wonderful. Greatly appreciated. Uh, thumbs up. 
<laughs> and if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be very, very nice, very, very awesome. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm really running slow today. I'm not doing well, but you take care. Have a great day today. I've got a reaction video and a game video coming up. So I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing.